Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Ross. Today, we're going to talk about rolling back your Microsoft Access install because I've been having, a, I've been pulling my hair out with the most recent update. It just crashes randomly. And I'm not talking with big, complicated databases. I'm talking about even my little training database, the Tech Help template. I don't know if you guys watch my videos regularly, but the last couple of videos I did, it just crashed in the middle. And I, I think I left it in one of the videos. So I ended up rolling back to the last version that I knew was stable, okay, without any problems. And in today's version, today's video, I'm going to teach you how to do the same thing. I got this labeled as an expert level video. It might be a little bit beyond some of the beginners, but you don't need any programming to do this. So here we go. All right, first thing, bugs happen. I get it. I'm a programmer. I've been developing all my life, and you, you can't, you know, you can't hold the Microsoft people responsible. They sometimes, make, you know, you make changes and bugs just creep in. You can't foresee everything, um, but they can affect your productivity. Um, I experienced a major bug problem a couple of years ago that really did affect my main database that runs my whole business, and I had to. This was before you could roll back. This was years ago. I think I was using. I don't know, Access 2013 or whatever at the time, or 2007 maybe. And uh, I had to uninstall Access and go backup version. This back before they had the subscription. So, yeah, bugs happen. But if you run into a situation where you do an update or it updates for you without, <laughs> without telling you and something's not working, you might need to roll back to a previous version. Now, big thanks to the guys over at Access Forever. They've got a great page with instructions on how to do this. I'll put a link to this down below, but they cover all the details, right? A lot of, just, if you have any problems, if you can't follow along with my video, go to their page. I'll put a link to it down below. I am only going to cover the click to run version of Office 365. So if you've got a subscription, which I strongly recommend, then these instructions should work for you. If you're using the perpetual version, right, where you're using, you know, 2019, 2021, the, uh, the, the old school standard got to buy it up front version, then there are instructions on Access Forever's page on how to do this. For those versions, this covers the click to run only. So the first thing you're gonna do is go to Microsoft's update history page. Here's the link. Again, I'll put a copy of this link down below. All right, takes you to this, the Microsoft 365 apps. Now come down here, scroll down past supported versions. Down here we got version history, okay? This is the version for me that was causing problems, locking up and just restarting Access randomly, okay? So I went back a few versions. Usually what I do is usually whenever you see these semi-annual enterprise channel updates, whenever there's one of these, that's where they do like a major update, okay? Um, I ended up going back to, I think this one, which is the one that I know worked fine for me. I didn't have any problems in May and early June. It's when this guy came out that I started having all kinds of problems. So I went back to this. What you're gonna do is, you're going to note this build number, copy it down, copy it to your clipboard, whatever you want to do. Copy that number right there. Okay, it looks like that. Copy that, put it in your clipboard. Okay, notepad it. Boom, I just copied it off their website. Get rid of everything except for that number. That's what you want right there. Okay, set that aside. Okay, next, you're going to turn off automatic updates. And I put this on a slide by itself because I forgot to do this the first time. <laughs> and then a day or two later, Access updated itself again. So, open up Access, go to your account page, click on Update Options, right? And then Disable Updates. Okay, you sure? Yep. Okay, you'll see this. Now, you might wanna make a note to yourself for like a month in the future to come back in here and turn this back on because you don't wanna be not getting updates forever. All right, you only usually have to do this when you have a problem. But once the problem's fixed, you can come back and turn this back on again. I usually leave the updates on. So actually, I have them turned off on my server machine. That's critical. So I let that one sit there. That's one of those ones where if it ain't broke, don't fix it. If it's working, I leave it alone. But for my regular machine, my training machine, I want to have all the new features because I got to teach them to you guys. Anyways, once that's done, we're ready to move on to the next step. You can close access. All right, next you're gonna start a command prompt as administrator. You can't just open up any regular command prompt. You gotta be, you gotta have administrative rights. You gotta elevate, right? There's a lot of ways to do it. This is the way I remember. Start CMD and then right click run as administrator. 
Yeah, I know there's shortcut keys for it, but just click start, type in CMD, you'll see command prompt right there. You can either click over here where it says run as administrator or right click on it, run as administrator. And again, you'll get this guy, say yes. And there it is, I'll drag it down here. There's your command prompt. You are now an administrator. Okay, you can do fancy stuff with your machine now. Be careful while you're in here, by the way. Don't go deleting stuff willy-nilly. All right, next up, you're gonna to navigate to your click to run folder. It usually looks like this, but it's wherever your common files Microsoft shared folder is, and you're gonna find click to run, okay? So in my case, I'm gonna go CD backslash to change the root, and then it's program files, CD common files. And yes, I type them in as individual commands because you type in one misspelling and you mess the whole thing up. CD Microsoft shared, CD click to run. All right, now I'm in my click to run folder. Next up, here's the command you're going to run right there. This thing with your number on it. Notice the 16.0 is in there. Okay, I'm going to put a copy of this down below too in the text underneath the video. So you can just copy this if you want to, right? All right, so in your notepad, put a copy of it in there and then put your number, whatever version you decide you want, right there. Okay, then copy this whole thing to your clipboard copy switch over here and hit paste control v right control c control v and then press enter all right you should see it running it might just show up on your taskbar down on the bottom there it says checking for updates oh see it keeps going back there you go go get some coffee all right it's gonna take a while it's gonna download and stuff in fact i even put it on my slide go get a cup of coffee i think for me it took like 10 to 15 minutes it, of course, is based on the speed of your internet and your computer and blah, 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 all that stuff. When it's done downloading, you're going to see applying updates. This one's pretty fast. This will only take a minute or two. And then when you're all done, you got this guy. Updates were installed. You've successfully rolled back your Office version. You shouldn't have to, but it's a good idea to reboot your computer. All right? You, you shouldn't need to, but you know how these things are. Always reboot. Rebooting is a good thing. I reboot my... I leave it running every night, obviously, because it's just, it's you know, I'm lazy, but it's a good idea to reboot at least once a week or so. And when you're all done and you come back up in here, you can check and make sure what your version is right there is where you'll see it. That's your version number. Okie dokie. And that's pretty much it. That's, that's how you do it. And again, make yourself a note a month from now. Turn your updates back on. Or if you, if you know there's a specific problem, check and make sure that problem's been resolved. And again, shout out to the guys over at Access Forever. Uh, they're where I get a lot of my news from, and when there's problems and bugs and stuff, make sure you subscribe to their email updates. And uh, when they tell you that the bug's been fixed, well, then you can go ahead and update. That's what I do. I wait until I read it from them. Uh, but that's going to be your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member, and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. 
But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn Access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours. Go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four-hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.